Hello. Today's lesson is is a problem which is quite interesting and which is very challenging. And this problem has something to do with derivative. Given this function, and we want to determine this times this is equal to what? Determine the value of this times this. The meaning of this is you replace the x here x, x, by 99. And then you find the value. So put 99 here, 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 and find the value. Since the fractions continue indefinitely, therefore I cannot find the, find the value when x is equal to 99. It's difficult if it is possible, but it is very difficult. Similarly, to find this, I must do the derivative of this. After I have the derivative, I replace the x by the value 99, which is again very difficult to find because this expression is very long, indefinitely long. So how do I do this? So there is a trick. Okay. Let us add x to the left hand side and add x to the right hand side. Uh, let's call this uh, equation, this relation 1. Let's add x to both sides of 1. Then I have plus x. If I add x to the right hand side, so this x plus x make 2x. Yeah. I add x to both sides of this relation and I get this. Let me call this 2. Let's compare the right hand side of 1 and 2. Compare the right hand side, this and this. Compare 
the two right hand sides, two right hand sides, this right hand and this right hand, you compare these two right hand sides of, of one and two, one and two. Compare this and this. What do you see? You see, this part is exactly this, you see? Right? 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2x and so on. This is 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2x and so on. So this is this. Therefore, I can replace this part by what? By fx plus x. Okay, this is exactly what I do now. I replace this part by fx plus x. Do you see that? This is exactly this. Therefore, I replace this by fx plus x. And after we place this, I do not call this one, right? Okay, I do not call this one. Uh, I call this three now. What do I do next? I move the x from here to there. All right. I move the x from here to there. Move x from right to left. Move x from right to left. I have this. What do I do next? Cross multiply. This and this multiply together. So this times this is equal to one. Cross multiply. Cross multiply, move this part to the left hand side and multiply. This multiply this equals one. This multiply that equals one. Okay. Uh, I need more space, all right. Uh, I erase that. Look, A minus B, A plus B.
A minus B times A plus B is equal to 1. Uh, don't forget this. This is what I want to find. So let me write it here now. What is this equal to? I want to find this times that is, is what? Okay, so now I can erase this. All right. A minus B times A plus B equals 1. But what is A minus B times A plus B? A minus B times A plus B is A squared minus B squared. This is equal to 1. So, this square minus this square equals 1. Okay. So this is, this is what I have. A square minus B square equals 1. Because this is A, this is B. A minus B, A plus B is this. So that's what I have. Don't forget I want to find this. The function when x is 99 times the derivative of the function when x is also 99. So multiply this, what is the result? So I need the derivative of this. Okay, I need the derivative of this. So let's do derivative. The derivative of this, what is this? I have this part is power rule. So 2 goes to the front, and 2 minus 1. So this 2 goes to the front, and 2 minus 1. But that is not the end of it. You follow it by... Do the derivative of this. What rule is this? This is chain rule. So the derivative of this part, the derivative of this part is power rule, put the 2 in front, 2 minus 1 is 1, and multiply the derivative of this. Multiply derivative of this is chain rule. So this is this part, the derivative of this part, minus the derivative of this part, This, you don't need chain rule. This is just power rule. Is equal to 
the derivative of 1, which is 0. So this is the derivative of a constant. So I have this. I have power rule and chain rule. I have this term. And this one is only power rule. I have this. And this is zero because the constant, the derivative of a constant is zero. Now, I have a two and two, so I divide by two, make Simplify this. Divide by 2. Divide by 2, what do I have? I have fx, f prime of x minus x equals 0. So, divide by 2. I get this. Then, this is rearrange. So I have rearrange fx times f prime of x, move the x from the left to the right. So this is what I have. It is almost our answer. Compare this with our answer. Ah, what we want, we want the product of f and f prime when x is 99. Okay, that's simple. I just replace x by 99. So, replace Now I let x equals 99. So, See, I have the answer. What is the value of this time that? It's 99. So this problem is very tricky. So that's the end of the problem. The answer is 99. Do you follow? Don't forget, if you have any questions you want to do, Call this number, all right? Ah, don't forget that. Call this number. So that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next lesson. Goodbye.